Okay, I'm moving right along with my small block 383 stroker build. Uh, this morning I was able to get my timing cover put on. That's the nice uh, Holly cast aluminum one I was talking about in one of my other videos. Comes with all the bolts. Comes with a gasket. So I put that on. Roll the engine over and uh, start to uh, think about installing my oil pan. I've got the uh, oil pump put on. Comes with a stud and a nut. Comes with a heavy duty drive shaft. You can see that it's installed there. It doesn't snap on like the plastic little retainers do, but once you roll it over, you can get it in place. And I cleaned up the mating surface for the pan, and I'm getting ready to put that on. Everything's working out pretty well. I was able to get uh, the cam dialed in, which uh, ended up being right on the money. And then I also did, uh, last night, I did uh, my uh, piston to valve clearance. I did uh, exhaust and intake using a checking spring. And I had 243 minimum for the exhaust valve. That was right around 5 degrees before top dead center. And then I had 212 uh, thousandths intake at uh, 6 to 8 degrees after top dead center so I got plenty of valve clearance uh, this cam is fairly short duration and uh, fairly small lift good for low end torque which is what I'm looking for so let's take a look at the oil pan I'm going to put on it's a six quart pan from Moroso came as a kit from Summit with the oil pump and the pan has a little trap door and I got a one piece Felpro gasket sitting on top here that I'm gonna put on I've used these before they work really nice alright so I guess that's gonna be it for this video and uh, once I get the pan on and get it put back over uh, I'll do another video and and uh, possibly show the heads getting put on okay thank you for watching